Back here on First Things First, and we are going viral. Hamadou Diallo won the dunk contest Saturday night with this leap over Shaq, highlighting his performance. But this isn't the first time we've seen this dunk with footage of Diallo doing the same dunk back in high school. However, he finished in second place to some guy named Zion Williamson. <laughs> And here is what Zion did to take home the heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> can't wait to see him in the dunk contest. Next he and John year. Moran. Goodness John Moran. Gracious. Uh, listen, Matt McClung shouldn't go one and done for Georgetown, but the three of them in the dunk contest would be a lot of fun. McClung is athletic. Yes. Yeah, he, he's nice, bouncy. Yeah. Bouncy. Yeah. yeah. All right, back to the Steelers. And Antonio Brown has already soured his relationship with Pittsburgh, but found a way to make matters worse over the weekend. When asked if there was any chance he could stay with the Steelers, he responded on Twitter, love Steelers Nation, everything to my heart, no more. Now AB and Steelers owner Art Rooney will meet later this week. Doug, is there any chance the Steelers and Antonio Brown can rectify the situation? Yes, yes. Was it Chubbs? Chubbs was the, the, the former golfer who was advising uh, Happy Gilmore, right? Remember when Happy goes to him and says- <laughs> You got uh, me on that one. <laughs> when, when he got when, when, when Happy, go, Happy goes little to little Chubbs off. and he says, uh, uh, you're right, I'm wrong, you're smart, I'm stupid, you're handsome, I'm not very good looking. If Antonio Brown does that, then yeah, if he goes hat in hand and said, listen, the way I was acting, the things that I did walking away from the team week 17, I was wrong. I, I was wrong. Are there other things to discuss? Yes. But we start the conversation with, I apologize to you as owner of this franchise, a historically great franchise. I should not have left the team in the lurch in a must-win game. If you start there, then yes, it's a it's a reparable relationship. I don't think it'll happen, but it is reparable if we start there. Yeah, I, I agree that it's reparable. I don't think it starts there. I, I, I kind of feel like the Steelers, uh, not that they have to, not to, again, I think Antonio Antonio is primarily to blame. But I do think this is more of the Steelers will come to him first and, you know, talk about, look, what, what are your major problems with this franchise? Why do you want out? You know, the, the reports were that Antonio didn't want to meet with them. And Rooney is pushing this meeting and he's getting this meeting. The fact that their meeting tells me it's repairable. Uh, I think Ben, as I said earlier, is a big part of this. Um, I think that Antonio has to apologize himself, but I think for Antonio, Ben needs to do it first. And Ben's not blameless, so I think he should be able to come out first and apologize to Antonio man to man. Like, everything we see, Ben seems to like him. He just doesn't seem to be aware that either he treats people disrespectfully or he's perceived in that locker room, among some people at least, to treat people disrespectfully. So I think it's rectifiable, but Ben is a big part of it. And to your point, Antonio, I think if he gets an apology from Ben sincerely, then I think he will kind of own up to his own flaws. I, I just, at some point, you gotta swallow your pride. Like, Antonio Brown has handled this terribly. And, like, look, the Pittsburgh Steelers don't have to trade him. Right. They don't have to play him. They could sit over there. You know, they're gonna have, he's got a, he's got a guarantee in his contract. They, they don't have to dress him. They can sit there and pay him to not play in one of the last couple you, of years. How realistic do you think that is? It, it's not terribly realistic, but if you think about it, if you're the, if you think about it, if you're the Steelers, right? Like, your options are trade him and take a massive cap hit, you know, <laughs> or, or keep him and and maybe he comes around, or maybe you, you keep him and hold him on and, and punish him. Or you could also send him off to football Siberia. Like, if I'm them, I don't want him to send him to San Francisco. Buffalo. You know, yeah, Buffalo him. <laughs> Buffalo his ass. No, I get, like, I get that. Like, someone was when you got Josh Allen. Let's see your catch radius now right. when Josh Allen is throwing him five yards over your head and You and Jenna you. are always hating on Buffalo. I, 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 get, I get what you're saying. Well, Buffalo's you, what Cleveland used to be. You right? just said to yourself. Even though the Steelers are the team and they're, you know, they're the bigger entity in this, they don't have all the leverage. They do need to try. They have incentive to work this out. And not just because he's such a good player, but because, as you said, the cap hit, you're not going to get equal value and all those things. That's why I think both sides need to swallow some pride. And I do think, you know, things can be done differently. Uh, yeah, the, the only, the, the, the problem with it, this is like. They're not just going to strong arm me. Look, like, this, look. You better get in line. We're not trading you, or we're gonna punch. That's not gonna work. No, with you. no. But this is like a marriage with no, where a guy has no prenup, right? And he's sitting there going like, "Look, could I cut it loose? Yeah, but 
I'm going to lose half my stuff. And then all of a sudden, I want to, I want my kids, I want to sleep in the same house as my kids every night of the week. Let me see if I can make this work. But let's not kid ourselves. He's the one who has done the most wrong in How this How much does the Le'Veon Bell situation and that fallout impact this? I, I think in Antonio Brown's mind it impacts it. Unfortunately, it's the opposite For of Pittsburgh it because it's, it's the opposite of it because they gave in to Antonio Brown and reworked his contract yeah. not long ago, right? It's like you're getting paid at the top level. He this got the long term. He got the long term deal. Right. He got the guaranteed money. Like it may not be as player friendly as he would like, but he got what Le'Veon Bell wanted. So, but I think in his mind he's like, look, this is a problem with the Steelers. This is a problem with Ben. This is a problem with ownership and how you guys run things. That's why he lost Le'Veon. On and that's why you lose me in his own mind. But the, you got to start with the I was wrong. I he, he, he's not starting there. If he doesn't, then this is not a re reparable relationship. Then what's going to happen? It's like any fight with your wife. I don't you think you're not has, wrong. They're, they're the ones. Art Rooney is not begging, but he wants to meet with Antonio. If, if it wasn't, does he? You think Art Rooney thinks Antonio's going to go in there and the first thing out of his mouth is going to be, "Look, I'm sorry, it's my fault." I think Art Rooney knows that's not going to be the case. He wants to say something to Antonio. So I think I, I think eventually it could get there. It should get there with Antonio apologizing, but I don't think that's. Do you the first think step. Ben feels any accountability for the situation? Do you think? Do I he, think he feels it? Yeah. No, but I, do I think he's responsible? Yes. If right? he's got any degree of self awareness, and maybe he doesn't, <laughs> then he should at least recognize. Yeah, I've done some things wrong, and you're right. Antonio is primarily to blame. Right. I'm just saying. Ben should recognize that, yeah, I, I, maybe I have done some things wrong. Maybe I haven't accepted some responsibility for some of the things that go wrong with the team. Yeah, look, I, I, look do, I, do I think he reasonably thinks there's some things I could have done better? Sure. But this guy's been acting a fool. Like, let's not... For airing your grievances on Twitter, Twitter. Is, is not the place to do it. Liking things on Instagram, which go back a decade into your court, the, the worst moments of your quarterback's life, like that, that's, it's, it's not the forum to do it. You know, we all have each other's cell phone number, pick up the phone and call. And Mike Tomlin has pointed out time and again that he has not gotten a call from his wide receiver. You can be as mad as you want to Ben, you can be as mad as you want at the world, but when you no show on your head coach, on your team, week 17, a must win game against a division rival, the first thing you have to do is pick up the phone and say, my bad, I was wrong. He hasn't done that. He has the opportunity to do so. And unless he does, th this is an uh, irreparable relationship. All right, coming out, we're going to discuss another quarterback. Coming up, could Colin Kaepernick soon be back in the NFL? That's next on First Things First.